And the good news is that when you have chronic kidney disease and you're in the final stage, it doesn't mean that you're going to die because there are lots of different modalities, whether you're talking about transplant, dialysis, whether it's in-home or in-clinic, you can still enjoy a good quality of life even if you have chronic kidney disease. You just need to make sure that you eat well, continue to exercise, and comply with the medications and the treatments that are recommended. And so there are different types of kidney replacement therapy. You can get a transplant. And transplants, you can get a living donor transplant, or you can get a cadaveric transplant, which means that you're getting a kidney from someone who is not living any longer. You can have dialysis, which can be peritoneal dialysis or PD or hemodialysis. And that can be divided up into home or in-center dialysis. Dialysis helps take away all of the sick feeling that people feel when they start to get kidney failure. If you are using an in-home, whether it's hemodialysis in-home or peritoneal dialysis in-home, you have a considerable amount of flexibility. For people who want to continue to be active, who want to continue to go to work and be involved in their community, in-home peritoneal, in-home hemodialysis are definitely good modalities. Once I researched what going on uh, dialysis meant, I realized how privileged I was to be able to have that as a, as a vehicle. It's very important to be proactive. It's very important to ask your provider, you know, are there other modalities for me? Is kidney transplant good for me? What can I do to help slow down the progression of my chronic kidney disease if you're early on in the process? If I were you, I'd, I'd make that initial step if you want to stay alive. If you don't, then that's up to you. What's important as far as end-stage kidney disease therapies is that you get the best therapy as soon as you need it. And so what we would like to do is try to avoid going on dialysis if at all possible. So we encourage people to be worked up for the kidney waiting list, but also encourage them to consider living donor transplantation. There is an 80% survival rate in the first year for people on conventional dialysis. With more intensive dialysis, people are healthier and live longer. Home hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis are better ways to perform dialysis than coming in center. Transplantation has the best survival rate. Realize that, you know, you're still alive, you still have a life going on now. You still have control of uh, how good your life can be.